It was so much fun. So I know we did our first practice session last Friday um, in regards to how the Senior Bowl was going to go. So um, again, we're just going to continue on with that. Um, I'll explain everything as we go through the beginning portion of the uh, presentation. So um, I'm going to go and read our disclaimer first. Uh, the Wild Tech DC Senior iPad program, its owners and presenters offer technical assistance, virtual health, well-being information designed for educational purposes only. You should not rely on the information and any apps or topics made by Wild Tech, including but not limited to mobile and device applications and any social media pages maintained by Wild Tech, its owners or presenters as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or legal advice. Thank you so much for letting me read the disclaimer. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and see how many we have. Uh, we have about 42 folks. I know some folks will be coming in um, as we move along with today's session. Um, don't see any new newcomers, but maybe some second or third timers. Then uh, this program provides you this iPad um, until you complete the uh, program requirements is online. So once you complete these two requirements, the iPad is 100% yours. Provides you the data um, that you can use your iPad in and inside of your home. It's by Dapple. And it in, uh, also provides you different types of training and assistance. Uh, you must remain in sole possession of your iPad. You know, you, if it's not, if you don't have any possession, you won't be able to learn how to use it, right? So make sure it's only you that uses your iPad. And you must have participated in one-on-one -on -one training to learn how to get onto these Zoom sessions. And the main two requirements of our program is that you participate in at least six of these free afternoon trainings, Monday through Friday at 1.30, over Zoom help throughout the year. And um, after you do those, and have been about in the program for 90 days, you must respond to the midterm survey only once that will be emailed to you. Additionally, you must utilize the iPad at least three days per week. You know, again, the more you use it, the more that you learn, and read the emails and text messages that we send to you because then that's how you learn what's going on, what time, and any other additional information. Okay. Again, this is what the midterm survey looks like. So basically, if you've been in the program for more than 90 days, but you still have not received your midterm survey, please make sure you call our help desk or email the survey email that you see on the screen. Um, this, so again, we have our next trivia bowl, our nutrition trivia bowl coming up on the 28th of September. So that was two weeks from yesterday. So if you'd like to participate, please check out this email. Um, it has what has the flyer in it. It also has in daily, today's daily reminder where you can tap on it and fill out the form if you would like to participate. Um, what I learned today was uh, the first place team, again, it's going to be the same setup as a senior bowl, but just this time trivia. First um, place team will all win something, and the runner up team will also win as well. So, lots of prizes to give away from Dr. Mundy. Make sure that you guys sign up. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Again, please make sure you show your screen name if you wish to receive credit for this class. So, for that person that said that they needed help with their name, please make sure you pay attention to the steps that I'm about to go over. I do see so we have an iPad user. And we had a Zoom user, but they fixed their name. Thank you. But in order to change your name, so in the participants menu in Zoom, if you're not showing as your first and last name, we don't know who you are. Because if you're showing as iPad or Zoom user, that could be anybody, right? So in order to rename yourself or check to see if your name is showing, you again tap on participants. The first person is always you. That's why it says whatever me. And the second person is always the host. That's why it says host. So if it says iPad me or Zoom user me, you need to tap on that and then rename yourself so that way it just shows your first and last name. So participants, iPad or Zoom user or whatever else me, and then rename. Make sure you delete iPad or whatever is there and make sure it just says your first and last name and then tap done. Okay, that's how you, that's again, how you rename yourself. Participants, iPad me, Zoom user me, whatever, then rename. Okay, because again, iPad, we cannot acknowledge you and we cannot mark you as an attendant because we don't know who you are. We go based off the list off of Zoom. So that's why it's really important that you show your name. Okay. Um, also, you must, uh, you know, to keep you organized and avoid talking over each other, you know, to have some type of etiquette, right? I just ask that you use the raise hand button. Um, you can find the raise hand button in the toolbar 
And at the end of each session, um, for most of our sessions, this changes sometimes depending on who we have, you'll have the opportunity to ask questions using this feature. So in order to raise your hand, you tap on more at the top right, again, of the um, Zoom toolbar, and then you tap raise hand, okay? So again, today we are going to utilize the raise hand feature. Um, so um, really quick, I love everyone to please raise your hand in Zoom. I want to see as many raise hands because <laughs> we're going to be using that quite a bit today. Tap on more and raise hands. And that's, that's, how, that's how we know you're here. <laughs> All right, 11 of you, 12. Have about 66 folks on. I want everyone to raise their hands, please. I hit more and then raise hands. Again, so that way I know you're here, you're present, you're ready to learn, but also know how to raise their hand, okay? That 25 of you, good, good. I see we have a Zoom user. I need you to rename your mm -hmm. method. Um, and so we still, we still have an iPad user. Make sure you rename yourself, okay? Wish I could assist you one-on-one, -on -one, but I am I'm on my own today. <laughs> so please make sure you rename yourself, all right? Okay, 28 of you, good job. Thank you so much for raising your hands. If you wanna lower your hand, you all should notice the ones that do have their hand raised, you can hit lower at the bottom. So I want everybody to lower their hand, please. I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we only have four hands <laughs> left out of 28. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, That's make sure you hit thing. lower <laughs> hands. Yeah, you can also lower your hand by hitting more and then hitting lower hand where raise hand is, but it's so much easier just to hit that blue button at the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, so again, today we're gonna utilize the raise hand feature um, for our iPad trivia. So just make sure that um, if you'd like to respond or, or um, answer the question, um, please make sure you raise your hand. Of course, so uh, well, uh, I'll assist with that. Okay. Okay. So, so you want us to lower our hands now? Hello. Yeah, yes. Every everyone has everyone has lowered their hands. So Hello. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Miss Ethel. We we can we can hear you. But you lowered yeah, your hand, but, so good job. Yeah. But yeah, but there's a there's a pin on my name. Um, that's because you double tapped um, yourself in Zoom, ma'am, so that you're just pinning yourself. You can hit remove pin at the, at the top left, okay? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, for our trivia today, we're going to continue on with our iPad trivia from last Friday. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And again, we're just going to go over some things that we've learned in all six of our modules, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. You all can see it, correct? Mm-hmm. Awesome. So yes. again, um, I'm just gonna ask um, you, know, I, I, each time we go through a question, um, I'm gonna choose someone, the first hand I see um, in Zoom to choose the question. And then we all take a second to answer it. So we're just we're just all gonna be on mute. So that way again we can like write the question, write any notes, you know what I'm saying? So let's make sure that um, you know, we raise our hands so that we that way we can participate and that you guys can take notes, okay? So uh, first, before we do, I'm just gonna go over the questions we went over on um, Friday. So we went through one, two, three, four, five. We went through six questions on our first time on Friday. So that was so much fun. <laughs> so um, the ones that we did already, um, your new iPad for 300, what is Apple's virtual assistant's name? And the answer to that question was Siri. Okay, Siri is Apple's virtual assistant where you can use your voice to access Siri that's taught in module two, okay? Again, if you guys have some paper and pen um, by you, it's a great idea to take some notes, okay? Uh, after this question, we chose it for 500. Besides Touch ID, what is Apple's other biometric method that they use? 
And the answer to that question was face ID. So our iPads, our iPad ninth generation iPads, they don't have face ID capabilities. The iPad Pros do, but um, our iPads, they use uh, touch ID. But um, iPhones, if you have an iPhone 10 or higher, you have touch ID, um, face ID with your, um, with your phone. Um, so uh, you can use touch ID on your iPads and both and face ID on um, iPad Pros and face ID or touch ID on iPhone, depending on which one you have. Okay. So we talk about touch ID in again, um, module, module one, and sometimes in a little bit in module two. Okay. Uh, we also went over all about email for 300. Uh, it was, what does CC stand for? And as a bonus, I asked, what does BCC stand for? So the answer is CC is carbon copy. So you can copy somebody on an email when you're sending it. Maybe it wasn't intended for them, but maybe they need to also see it for whatever reason. So for example, Teresa CCs me on uh, certain emails, like for our da daily reminder, that emails that uh, she sends out, to our guests of that nature, so she usually CCs me on those so I can make sure I get the reminder together, right? <laughs> and BCC stands for blind carbon copy. So for example, um, some of you may have been receiving like um, library emails when we were doing in-person trainings. Uh, we basically sent an email and BCC'd everyone so everyone can get the message that everyone's you know emails are hidden. It's a blind copy, okay? We go over this in module three, where we talk about email. <laughs> um, the next question we went over was iPad settings and applications for 200. And the question was FaceTime and iMessage on your iPad mainly works with other blank devices. And the answer was, and some of you just said iPhone, mm -hmm. it, was, it was Apple. So um, you with, it depends, and again, on what device that you're using. So with your iPads, FaceTime and iMessage, they, they only work with other Apple devices because with the, with the Android phone, it is, it's not the same software, you know, you know, so, but with the with phones, with the iPhone, I, you can, you know, tech, you can iMessage, use iMessage to um, text non-iPhones or non-Apple devices. Um, and there is actually a way to FaceTime at, and us. Uh, um, Android devices using your iPhone. But again, it just depends on which one you have and if uh, the other person's capabilities as well, but mainly Apple devices, okay? Um, the last two questions that we went over last Friday was the Control Center, iPad, Keyboard, and Zoom. Question was, how do you open the Control Center on your iPad? And the answer was, you swipe down from the top right corner of the screen. So yes, when you swipe down from the top right corner of your screen, you should see the control center where you can adjust things like your, uh, if you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular, you can adjust your volume, your brightness, um, things of that nature. And there are shortcuts here as well. So let me talk about the control center in module five, okay? And the last question we know, went over on Friday was, what option should we tap when you join a Zoom meeting as you see this text? To hear others, please join audio. And the button you should always press is Wi-Fi or cellular data. Because yes, that's where you connect to your audio. If you don't connect to your audio, you won't be able to be heard um, and you won't be able to hear any uh, music or videos, any audio from the presenter. So it's really important that you connect to your audio and you know that by hearing others speak or the presenter speak. But if you don't hear anything, make sure that you connect to your audio. Okay. So we just went over some questions uh, that we that we did Friday. So now uh, again, I'm going to go through the hands and choose uh, one person to choose the question, and then you're going to raise your hands again after the question is shown to answer it. So I'll call in a couple of folks, see what you think the answer is. And then we will we will reveal it, and so on and so forth for the next forty five minutes. Okay, so lots of knowledge. Uh, really, just some of the basics of using your iPad. Make sure you uh, take notes if you're able to, 
And I think this is a great review and a great end to our week, okay? So the first hand that I see up right now is Mr. Zimmerman. Can you choose a question for us to answer, please? You can go ahead and unmute in the middle, Mr. Zimmerman. Just pick one. Yeah, just pick one that you'd like uh, all of us to, to go. Mm -hmm. Uh, he went on some tirade about Let's see. trans people because Republicans yeah, are thinking. Any of the ones that are in white. Uh, um, we do hear your TV, by the way, but uh, which one Which one would you like to answer? Uh, Mr. Zimmerman, can you choose a question for yeah. us to answer? To answer, let's see. Yep, any of them in white. You can pick anyone you'd like. Okay. About your email. This one. Okay, for what point value? Two hundred. Okay, two hundred. Thank you so much for choosing, Mr. Zimmerman. Appreciate it. Um, again, uh, we're all going to look at the question. And I'll be going based on the hands, a uh, few hands to answer before we reveal um, the true correct answer, okay? So I'm just gonna lower everybody's hand just, just for now. And then make sure that you raise your hand if you'd like to answer. I'll give us uh, 30 seconds once we see the question to then uh, we'll hear from everybody. So let me get my timer set up, few seconds. And we'll go into the one that Mr. Zimmerman said all about email for 200. Name at least two parts of an email address. Okay, name at least two parts of an email address. We go over this in module three. So we have, I'll give you guys 30 seconds to think and I'll be going through the hands. I'm gonna use the two listed with? About, about, four, about four or five. Or Google. Yeah, again, I'll be going through the hands so that way you can all, you know, if you'd like to write the question down and put the answer next to it, it's again, this is just a great review. Okay, time's up. So I'm going to hear from the first few hands. So, um, and then uh, next, on the next question, I'll go through the next group of hands, et cetera. So uh, first up is Miss Lorraine. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. What 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 is your answer? My so, answer is the body and the salutation. Okay. Why do you why do you say that? Okay. The body is um, is when you type in the uh, whoever the, uh, what the email is all about. The salutation is a signature, I believe. Okay, those those two, um, you, what you said, the, the body and the salutation, those are the body and the salutation. Okay, so let's let's hear from some from uh, some other answers. Okay, Miss Lorraine. So thank okay. you for sharing. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Next up is Miss uh, Carol Fletcher. Please unmute. Hit unmute in the middle, and um, let's hear your answer. Um, who are you going to send it to? Um, what's the subject and the body of it? That's three though. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, next up is Anne. Uh, the address, the person to whom you are sending the email and their address. Uh, and the um, subject of the email. Okay, thank you, Anne. And then um, we're going to hear from Eddie, and then we're going to reveal the correct answer, okay? So, Miss Eddie, can you unmute? Mm -hmm. What do you think the answer is? Carbon copy and blind carbon copy. Mm -mm. No. So, Miss uh, Miss Eddie, those are, those are two different things you can do when you send it from, but those aren't part 
um, of it. That, those were actually the, the answers to a previous question. So, <laughs> uh, oh, but, uh, you know, it, but it's okay. It. It's all I right. Can. Thank you. Thank you so oh. much for sharing. So the true answer is, again, you guys were describing in, uh, parts of an email, but the question asks, name at least two parts of an email address. And if you remember during the email session, what, what is an email address? It's, um, you know, for example, my email address, I'm, I'm just going to put in the chat as an example, is abel at wildtech.org. That is an email address. And what are some parts of that email address? It's the username, the at oh, symbol, yeah. the domain name, or the top level domain. So either the first part before the at, the actual at symbol, the domain name, so like Gmail, Yahoo, et cetera, or the top level domain. So .com, .org, um, .net, things of that nature, okay? So everyone's answers, what they were saying was true, but it wasn't um, answering the direct question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yes, those are the parts, uh, all the parts of an email address so let's make sure we um, have that distinction, okay, everybody? Um, again, please use the chat, um, you know, to express like, hey, I didn't know that, or, you know, I didn't know that before, things of that nature. So make sure you guys take advantage of the chat as well, okay? But these are the four parts of an email address, and you all could have said any two of these, but yeah, make, make, let's, uh, you know, go on to the next one, okay? Um, the next hand that I see up is Yvonne Harris. Go ahead and unmute and choose a question for us, okay? Um, your new iPad one. Okay, thank you so much for choosing the question, Ms. Yvonne. Appreciate it. <laughs> yep, it, it, it was a little bit of a tricky question. You know, email address, so yeah. Uh, so for 100, for um, your new iPad, the question is, what year did the ninth generation iPad release? Again, we went over this uh, in module one. So again, what year did the ninth generation iPad release? I'm going to give you guys 25 seconds. Yeah. What year? You know, the ninth generation. <laughs> uh, one hint I can give is uh, the final question for last Friday, that was when the first iPad released. So what, what do you think the answer is? <laughs> okay, time is up. I'm going to be going through the um, group hands. Um, and I know that you all, you all are raising your hand as you speak. So I see them at the bottom. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go from some from the top and some from the bottom. Uh, so Miss Tylene. Hello, Tylene. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. And uh, what do you think the answer is? Oh, I didn't want to answer that question. <laughs> okay. Just make sure if you don't want to answer the question, make sure you all lower your hand, okay? I'm just going based on the first one I see, but do, can you give can you give us a guess, Miss Tylene? Um, I can guess. It's totally a guess. So I'm going to say 2008. Okay. Thanks. Thank you for trying. Really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, next question. Um, let's see. I, Denise Jackson. Going to unmute. Oh, what do you think the answer is? I think 22. Because okay, like, like 2022? Uh-huh. So 21, I got generation seven. Okay. They, I think they skip eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we'll we'll see. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, next up. Yeah, make sure you guys uh, remember you can lower your hand if you don't want to answer. I'm just going to go based on the first hands I see you, right? Um, next up, I'll do two more and then we'll be able to answer. Next up is Ma Miss Marjorie Vines. 
Go ahead and unmute in the middle, please. Yep. Again, go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. Yep, there you go. Okay. What do you think the, I was, what do you think the answer is? Uh, I'm going to make a guess because I wasn't in on it last Friday. But maybe 2021. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Miss Marjorie. Appreciate it. Yeah. And again, don't forget to lower your hands. And then the last hand that I see, again, I'm just going uh, through the first ones, is Anne. <laughs> Go ahead, Anne. What do you think the answer is? And well, Dennis. <laughs> I got mine at, in 2021. So I'm saying 2021. All right. Thank you for sharing, Anne. And the answer is 2021. So good job to um, Miss Anne and um, right before the end, Miss Vines. So good job. And um, Denise, uh, you said that you got the seventh generation 2020. Yes, because that's what was uh, available, right? So um, the next year, people got the ninth generation iPad. And um, that's that makes an interesting point. I I, I didn't yeah. never thought about it, but is there is there actually a um an eighth, uh, eighth generation yeah. iPad? <laughs> no. So no. um, but yes, the ninth generation iPad came out in 2021. So it's a very very new iPad that will be supported for um many many years. So it's it's. I a, was gonna say that, Alex, but I knew I got mine in 21. The seven. That's why I said 22, because I know the ninth one came out. Now the 10th one is out. <laughs> but my so, granddaughter had a 10th. Uh-huh. So th there was an eighth generation iPad. Um, I think it came out right after, not too long after the 7th. But I don't hear about it too much, so that's um that's pretty oh. interesting. So I mean, again, it's the the latest release was the tenth generation iPad. So we, right. most of us have pretty much the newest one. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it's a it's a lot to be grateful for, right? So and I got uh, the good... grandpa one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, gr grandpa still works. <laughs> so uh, th thank you for all of your answers. Really appreciate it. Um, the uh-huh. The next, let's see, someone we haven't heard from yet, uh, Ms. Doris. Um, go ahead and unmute and choose a question and a, and a point value for us, okay? Let me see. Mm. Buttons, Again, this, the mm -hmm. buttons and features. Mm -hmm. but I for do. how much for how much i'm gonna say 400 okay awesome thank you so much miss doris let's see if we can uh we can all get this <laughs> so for buttons and accessibility features for 400 we have what is the uh, built name of the built-in screen reader on your ipad college mm. Again, this is module two. So accessibility features. What is the built-in screen reader on your iPad called? So I know we've talked about in some advanced sessions, um, this module two. So it's a little bit of a tricky one. So let's see if we can uh, think of the right answer. So again, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. Please raise your hand if you'd like to answer the question. <laughs> or lower your hand if you would not like to answer. <laughs> Just so that way, everyone who wants to answer, make sure as they do. So we're just practicing our lowering our hand or raising our hand using the chat. I see a couple of people have said things in the chat, like Miss, uh, let's see, Miss Martina said, uh, this is my first iPad, yeah? This, this is my first iPad too. So I'm right here with Miss Washington. <laughs> oh, Mr. Harold. Oh, yeah, we got to use our brain power, okay? 
and Miss Sylvia, good job for the question before, and Miss Martina too. <laughs> for this question, uh, let's see. Again, what is the screen reader, built-in screen reader on your iPad called? So first up is Mr. Anwar. Abdul, go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. What do you think the answer is? Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yep. Voice what do you think over. the answer is, sir? Voice okay. over. Good answer. Let's see if it's right in a couple of folks, okay? Thank you for sharing. Um, next up is Miss Mary Taylor. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. And what do you think the answer is? Uh, is it Siri? Okay. Um, well, we when in the previous question we learned that Siri was uh, Apple's virtual assistants. So um, they some sometimes Siri is able to read what's on the screen, but it's not the actual mm -hmm. built-in reader, right? So there's a difference between what the answer will be and what Siri is. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we'll we'll see what's going on. But you had the right idea. Um, next mm -hmm. up again, just hearing folks. We haven't heard from yet. Ms. Uh, Durbin, Leonora's Durbin, go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. What do you think the answer is? I think the answer would be um, the home, home um, button. Who? Okay. Thanks um, for sharing. Let, let, let's see if that's right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. It, mm -hmm. And one more person. Let's see. Uh, Ms. Louise. Go ahead and unmute, and uh, what do you think the answer is? I thought it's home. Okay, another home button, okay? All right, Let so thank you so much all for sharing your answers. So again, what is the built-in screen reader on your iPad call? The answer is... Was over. Voice over. Good job to oh, the wow. first person that said it. Yeah, voice, voice over. Mm -hmm. So voice over again, if you um, have some vision difficulties and you really cannot see the screen on your iPad, there is a feature called voice over and um, it does take some getting used to and some learning and so, but this is the tool that, you know, if you know, any of it could happen to any of us where one day we may not be able to see what's in front of us, right? And, you know, that could happen. So um, it's good that we learn about these features in case we ever need to use it so that way we can still utilize our device, okay? So yes, VoiceOver is the iPad's built-in screen reader um, if you need to use it. So if um, again, just got to be grateful that we're all able to still see the screen in some capacity, but if you need to use it, we do go over voice over quite a bit. Okay, so thank you. Good job to that first person. Can't remember your name, but <laughs> oh yeah, I think it was Anwar. Mr. Anwar. Yeah, Mr. Anwar. Good job, Mr. Anwar. <laughs> thank you. You got it. Um, the next hand that I see who will pick um, is... Let's see. Uh, I'll, I'll go with you, Mr. Anwar, since you still got your hand up. So, which which uh, which question would you like us for us to answer? Let's go with uh, settings and applications. Mm -hmm. For how much? Let's go I'll, for home. All right, sir. I know that's like right. <laughs> like playing so Jeopardy again. Mm -hmm. like, like playing so. Jeopardy. Yeah, this, this is what we did for our senior bowl on Tuesday. So uh, not iPad stuff, but this this is quite fun, right? <laughs> I'm so, um, mm -hmm. so for settings and applications for 400, again, we're all going to raise our hands to notify if you want to answer the question. And we have 25 seconds after we reveal the question. So the next question is, um, name at least three items you can add to an individual's contact in the contacts app besides their name. Okay, so 20, 25 seconds. Think of three things you can add to an individual's contact in the contacts app besides their name. And let's make sure that we uh, email. use our brains. And Good. make sure- Their email, their summer code. Yeah, so again, make sure we all uh, mute ourselves so that way we can, uh, you know, that way we can we can all answer. Okay, 
30 seconds have passed. Thank you all. And then I'll be going through the hands, um, some from before, some from now. So uh, Miss Loretta Lewis, go ahead and unmute. What do you think the answer is? Oh, uh, we can add their phone number, their address, and their birthday. Good. Oh, thank you. That was so fast and quick. Love it. Thank you so I much. I like that. that <laughs> again, and make sure you remember to lower your hand, okay? <laughs> uh, next up, let's see. Uh, Mr. Ronald, uh, go ahead, Mr. Thompson, unmute. What do you think the answer is? Let's see. Besides the name, you can add their email. You can, okay. add, you can add the email, you can add their address, and you can add their you can list the other um features that they can use. All right, thank you so much for sharing, Ronald. Really appreciate it. <laughs> um, next up is Ms. Gloria. Go ahead and unmute, hit unmute in the middle, Ms. Gloria, what do you think? And then we'll reveal the answer. Okay, you can, you can, you can name the, a, um, you can add a birthday, you can add an address. And you could do a date in there. Yes, yes, good job. Thank you, Miss Gloria, appreciate it. And the answer is, yeah, you can add a company name, phone number, email, ringtone, or a text tone, addresses, birthday. There's even more, but these are some of the most common ones that you can add. So good job to all, all people that answered. Yeah, in, in some way, shape or form, yeah, email, yeah, all, all of these things. So if you go into the contacts app, you don't have to just enter their, their name in, right? If you know on your phone, if you were to add a contact, you would most likely add their name and their phone number to start, right? But um, on your iPad or phone, you can add, um, I'm going to my contacts app now. You can add, uh, again, your company, the company name, uh, your the phone number, and as many phone numbers. You can add email as many emails, you can add a ringtone, a text tone, an address, a birthday, a date, um, related name. You can even add notes for the person if you would like. So uh, you can really put all of one person's info in one nice spot that's convenient. So in case you need to access that information for that particular person, it is in the contact, okay? So again, that's the contacts app on your iPad. So make sure you take advantage of it. And we go over more about the Contacts app in Module 4, which we will be doing on Wednesday of next week, okay? So thank you so much for sharing. Um, the next hand I see for the next question is Denise Jackson. Go ahead and pick a question and point value for us, Denise. Um, let's see. Your new iPad, 400. All right. Thank you so much for choosing a question and for a lot of you participating. Okay. Make sure you all raise your hand. We love to hear from everybody that's on the call. You tap on more and then raise hand if you want to answer the question. So your new iPad for 400, let's see what it does. What is the authentication method used by all Apple devices? So again, uh, 20 seconds on the, on the clock. Let's think of our answer and make sure you raise your hand if you'd like to answer the question. Okay, let's make sure we're uh, all, you know, just using our brains, making sure we know, you know, what we can improve on, what we know. This is a great exercise for that. Yep. Emergency contact for the one from before, you can put that in like the notes section, for example, you know, you can add their emergency contact um, or even as a, an additional phone number. So, um, so yes, good job, Brent Thompson. And um, one second. 
Yeah. And then I'm going to go through the hands and let's see what the what you guys think. So the first person that I see is Miss uh, Melanie. Go ahead and unmute Miss Melanie. What do you think the answer is? Unmute in the middle. <laughs> no, I got the echo. Mm -hmm. It's your you Apple ID. Okay. Thank you for your answer, Miss Melanie. You said that I'm really quick. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see if that's the right answer, okay? okay. Um, next hand I see, again, just making sure we hear from as many folks as Mr. Harold. Hi, Mr. Harold, what do you think the answer is? I think the answer is, I'm sending this to Miss Melanie. I think the answer is passcode. Okay, let's, let's see if that's it, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Um. Next up is Miss uh, Martina. Go ahead and unmute in the middle. What do you What do you think the answer is? I was thinking it was either the Apple ID or the iCloud. That's all I can think of. Okay. You know. Okay. Good. 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 Th thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and reveal the answer. So again, what is the authentication method used by it's all Apple devices? It's your and, finger. The ans your finger. and the answer is the Apple, Apple ID. ID. So good job yeah. to uh, Miss Melanie and uh, who, and Mr. Here. I know you said passcode. So um, that that is also included kind of in an Apple ID. And your Apple ID has its respective password. Um, so you, in a way you were right as well, but all Apple devices, you have to have an Apple ID to access um, iCloud. Um, so whoever said that, the, again, the right ID, you need an Apple ID to uh, have, um, you know, to be able to utilize iCloud, right? Um, you needed to download apps from the App Store, otherwise you won't be able to authenticate yourself um, downloading certain apps. Um, you need it for iMessage, you need it for FaceTime. It's basically an identifier and everyone needs one <clears throat> in order to take advantage of those services. And it's all with the Apple ID. So um, I know during your one-on-ones, you either created one or signed in, like if you have an iPhone and just make sure you keep that information to yourself. It is your most important login. So your Apple ID and your Apple ID password is basically the authentication method used by all Apple devices. So again, this has gone over in module one. Okay, good, good job. Thank you all. <laughs> the next question, yeah, we've gone through quite of the board in a short amount of time. So we just, we just trekking along and, and learning some information. <laughs> uh, the next person I see up is, let's see who hasn't, uh, picked yet. Um, Miss Brenda, go ahead, Brenda uh, McManus. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Control Center iPad keyboard Zoom five hundred. <laughs> okay, I know that's right, Brenda. Let Let's see what this one is. And when I was making this, you know, these five hundred are they're, they're pretty difficult. So let's see if we can we, we okay. can get through it. Okay. All so right. for 500, again, 20 seconds on the clock. Again, I'll be looking at the hands. So make sure you raise or lower your hand as necessary. Okay. Name at least two security Name at least tapes. Two security you should, tips you should be aware of while you yep. Again, make sure you know that whether you're muted or not. So that way, you know, we don't, we don't hear you. You know what I'm saying? So again, name at least two security tips you should be aware of while using your iPad. So 20, um, 20, 25 seconds, 25 seconds. Again, name at least two security tips you should be aware of while using your iPad. Again, this one's a little more difficult. So again, this we went over this towards the end of module five. So if you can remember any of those security tips, name at least two of them. Okay, 25 seconds is up. Uh, thank you. So um, first hand that uh, I'll uh, ask upon is Miss Brenda Thompson. <laughs> Ms. Thompson, can you unmute in the middle and can you uh, answer this for us? 
Name at least two security tips you should be aware of while using your iPad. Um, you never give your password to anybody. Is okay, and then one? Uh, another one. Can you name another security tip? I don't know. I can't Thompson? think of none. Um, no, I can't think of none. Okay. Right Give no me. problem. <laughs> no problem, Ms. Thompson. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, next up, I have uh, Miss Carolyn Giles or Giles. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead and hit unmute in the middle, Miss Carolyn. Yes, uh, I'm going to go with um, you. Keep your ID secure, and you keep your I your Apple ID secure. That's for the answer to the security tips. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing. Really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, next uh, up, and then we're going to reveal the answer um, is Anne. Come on, Anne, Dennis. <laughs> what do you What do you think the answer is? So go ahead and hit unmute in the middle, Anne. Oh. Uh Locking your mm -hmm. phone, I mean, your, locking your iPad, and um, keeping your um, ID secure, and passwords, oh, the passwords. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. all right. Thank you so much for sharing, you all. <laughs> and the answer is uh, some possible ones. So all... All of y'all that answered, oh yes, in some way, shape, or form, that is definitely some security tips that we should abide by, by. In module five, we focus on setting a strong passcode and strong passwords. And that also involves not, you know, do not give your password to anybody, like for accounts, um, because it's, you know, just really important that you keep, you know, the information uh, to yourself. You use Touch ID. Um, as we talked about before, you know, biometrics, making sure iPad is locked down. Um, so that way, in case, you know, we misplace or um, um, lose our device, you know, it's 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 safe, right? Um, you turn on Find My iPad. We go over that again in module one. Um, so that way you can locate your iPad in its vicinity if you lose it. And again, like most of you said, keep your Apple ID secure. So that login that we talked about, Make sure that password is strong. Make sure you have it written down in a safe place where only you have access to. It's really important that you keep your passwords secure. Okay, but all of you did a great job with this question, so I appreciate it. <laughs> um, next question. And we were just moving along. We're almost there. Um, let's see. Um, Ms. Martina, um, can you pick a question for us to answer, please? Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle, Ms. Martina. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Which one would you like? I need the easy one. I don't know. Um, <laughs> let's go with your new iPad for 200. All right. Thank you so much for choosing, Ms. Martina. And again, we're going to have a few seconds to ponder and think, and then I'll be going through the hands, okay? So for your new iPad for 200, your iPad has a built-in GPS. What does that stand for? We have 25 seconds. So let's make sure that we think. Maybe again, write down the question and then write down the answer. So you guys have a like a study guide or a view guide. So that way you have this knowledge. It's like all the modules in one today. <laughs> so it's a really great practice and a review. Okay, again, your iPad has a built-in GPS, which stands for what? Uh, make sure you raise your hands. Uh, first person I'll hear from is Miss Renee Story. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. What do you think it stands uh, for? I'm really just taking a guess. I'm thinking global public system. 
Okay. Thank you for thank you for trying. Really appreciate it, Ms. Renee. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it's right. Okay. <laughs> um, next up is let's see. Uh, Brenda, I, I know your hand has been up for a minute. McManus, okay. go ahead. Okay. What do you think? Uh, global positioning positioning system. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. We'll get one more person in. We'll see what the answer is. Uh, Miss, let's see, uh, Miss Tylene. Hi, Tylene. Go ahead and hit and unmute. And what do you think the answer is? Okay, global position, um, positioning system. Okay, great. So you would have to say one as Brenda. Let, let's see what the answer is. The answer is global positioning system. So good job. <laughs> and the first person that answered, oh, you, you almost got it. So, but you had the right idea. So yes, global positioning system. Um, it's using satellites. So that way you can, um, you know, for, for it, there are many uses for like, you know, your location. If you're using um, a food delivery app like DoorDash or Uber Eats, um, you know, it needs your location. So it knows, uh, so you can see where the delivery driver is, but also on their end, they need a GPS so they can uh, get to your house um, or your place in, in, you know, in the least amount of time. So that's why you have a Maps app, you know, Google Maps, the Apple Maps that's built into your guys' iPad. You may have heard of Waze or something. Um, all of those use a GPS or the global positioning system to get your location. So that way you could fulfill um, a certain purpose, right? So again, you can think of the food delivery um, apps or again, the maps app, uh, the weather app uses a GPS because without it, it won't be able to tell you where the weather is in your location, right? So we have to, a lot to thank for, for GPS or the global positioning system. <laughs> So uh, good job, you all. Um, the next question will be chosen by, and just going through folks we haven't heard yet, is uh, Constance Howard. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle. And I'd love if you could choose a question for us. So again, Constance Howard, can you hit unmute in the middle, please? Hi. Um, yeah? Um I'm a, a long time listener and yes, I'm learning mm -hmm. with y'all. Yes, ma'am. Because I've been mm -hmm. out for a while. And oh, I was yeah. caught because I ain't joined. Although I didn't uh join y'all last week because my um Zoom was down for a while. So I'm just in here, you know, um listening with y'all. And for the last question, I was saying like, you know, for the GPS, it can track you down where you are too. Is that right? Oh, yes, GPS. Um, again, when you on, on the Maps app on your iPad, for example, you can look for directions for any place you want to go by car, by walking, by biking. Um, so that way you can plan your travel in advance. So it's a it's a really great feature that's available on a lot of devices, but you can yeah. utilize it on your iPad too. Okay. All right. Thank you very but much. I'd, yes, but I'd love if you could could you pick a question for us to answer, Miss Howard. Uh, I'm I'm a newcomer with this part here. That's fine. That changed pick... a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Just... the other system. <laughs> yes. I got two years uh, yes. ago. Uh huh. I I know you were one of the first few ones, so it's always good to get a review and to see what's going on. So um, just just pick one, you know, and uh, well, we can see which one you, uh, which one uh, it is. Uh, I could use more about the, um, all about email. Okay, for how much? Uh, 100. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for choosing, Ms. Howard, and make sure you take advantage of all of our different sessions, okay? I'll try to, thank you. All right, so the question all about email for 100, what is the term used to refer to mail that is sent in the traditional way? Can we go over this during module three? Can the term used to refer to mail that is sent in the traditional way. You have 20 seconds. Make sure to raise your hand if you'd like to answer <laughs> or pick a question. Going through the ones we haven't heard yet, but we've heard through so many folks today. I, lo I love the interaction. So 
please, if you haven't spoken yet, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. All right. So um, the first person we, hear, we, will, we will hear from is uh, Miss Catalina. Go ahead and unmute in the middle. What do you think the answer is? Snail mail. All right, Miss Catalina. Thank you so much for sharing. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, next person is Miss uh, Renee Winfield. <laughs> we have two Renees on the Zoom, so I got to make sure we distinguish. Uh, Miss Winfield, what do you think the answer is? Okay, I'm just guessing, but um, I think it might be like a BB, like a blind copy or a carbon copy. Okay, thanks so much for sharing. We'll we'll see if that's right. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, thank you for sharing and participating. <laughs> and the last person we'll hear from is Miss Adele. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle, Adele. And what do you think the answer is? I think the answer is snail mail. All right. Thank you so much for sharing, Miss Adele, and for raising okay. your hand. Appreciate it. <laughs> and the answer is snail mail. So good job to uh, both of you that answered. Um, the, again, the blind carbon and the carbon copy, that is um, another form of um, the recipients of the email that you want to send. So it's the email. So you can either send it to someone directly, or you can carbon copy somebody on an email, or you can blind carbon copy on them. But this is, uh, we're talking about actual mail, like physical mail, like envelopes. Um, mail that is sent in the traditional way, you know, it takes um, days and you know in um, you know decades and centuries ago sometimes it took a, a week or two weeks or even a month or several months for a message to be sent to another person right like they didn't have email back then where you could literally hit send and it sends to them in like 0.1 seconds right so that's why it's called snail mail because it used to take a very long time and even nowadays um, it can take two, three days or even longer, you know, depending on what you're sending, right? So uh, snail mail versus email. <laughs> but, but good job, you all. Thanks so much. Um, just a couple more questions. And then uh, we'll just we'll just go through the rest of them quickly. So that way we have all the information. Okay, so one more question. Uh, let's see, the last question will be picked by Miss Ann McCombs. Go ahead and unmute in the middle, Miss McCombs. And let's choose our uh, final question. Uh, I want to say iPad settings and applications for 100. Okay, awesome. So again, we have about 20 seconds for the question. Let's uh, think and see if we can come up with the right answer. So how many gigabytes or GBs of storage does your ninth generation iPad have? I know some of you have a seventh generation, but for the ninth generation iPad, how many gigabytes of storage does it have on it initially? Well, yours, so your specific iPads. Yeah, five seconds. So again, your ninth generation iPad. Okay, thank you. And um, first we'll hear from, again, just going through the ones we haven't heard from yet, Miss uh, Foster, go ahead and hit unmute. What do you think the answer is? 64. Okay, thanks so much for sharing. Nice to see you on, Ms. Bertha. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's see. Next person is Ms. Uh, Ethel Lucas. Go ahead and hit unmute in the middle, Ms. Ethel. 64. Okay, thank you. Let's just make sure uh, when we're on Zoom, make sure our TVs and cell phones are turn off to the best of our ability. Thank you so much. And the last person that I'll call on is, let's see, Miss Melanie. Go ahead and unmute Miss Melanie. 
64. All right. Let's so see. all of us said 64 gigs. So let's see what the right answer is. How was it right 128? The right answer uh, is uh -uh. 64 gigabytes. So good job. All of you got it right. So your iPads, yes, your iPads came with 64 gigabytes of physical storage. Mm -hmm. And um, throughout the years, it's varied. You know, the, the um, newer an iPad is, the more likely it has more um, storage. Um, same thing with the iPhones. The iPhones, um, the lowest amount that an iPhone had at one point, um, it could have been just two or one. I know mine, when I first got my iPhone in 2015 or so, um, it had 32 something like that but it's it's uh they're um, different ipads your ipad can have a different amount of storage the more storage that comes with it the generally the more um expensive it is so the more storage you have the more um the more pricey it is but that's because it's more storage or well, well, you know the actual storage of itself you know it takes up space so um, it's all about checking out your iPad storage and, and seeing how much you have available. And if you need to, uh, for example, like delete apps um, to free up from some storage. But even um, with me, I've had my iPhones for many, many years, for about 10 years now. And even with that and with on my iPad, when I go to my settings and go to general and go to iPad storage, I have only used about 44 gigabytes of the 64 available. So it's a lot of storage. <laughs> so I don't expect anybody to have 64 gigabytes of storage used on their iPad, um, <laughs> only if they have like hundreds and hundreds of apps. So uh, I would just check it out, see if you ever need to, if you have an older iPhone or an um, older device, you know, um, just use the knowledge that you learned today and you can also apply it to their as well. Okay, but yes, good job to those. Um, really quick, I'm just going to go through the rest of the questions. And then uh, that way we'll have gone through the whole board. And we've uh, just done a general review of all of our different modules. Okay, so buttons and accessibility features 100. Um, you can unmute yourselves and just yell at the answer. Um, about how long does the iPad's battery last? What do you think the answer is you all? You can unmute and share. Sorry, I, I had to enable. You all can I unmute. I said 10 hours. 10 hours. 10 hours. 10 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. <laughs> all right, I got 10 and 12. Let's see what the answer is. The answer is 10 hours. Good job to who is at 10. So that's again gone over in module two, which we just did on Wednesday. It's about 10 hours. It, it depends on how um, much you use your iPad. If you use it, if you use it uh, the whole day, all day, it may not last 10 hours, but generally it does last about 10 hours. What I, rec mm -hmm. what I recommend that you guys do Mm -hmm. What I recommend that you guys do with your iPads is uh, use it throughout the day. And depending and then, on if uh, your if your iPad's at 70, 80%, you don't need to charge it overnight. You know, that's, that's nope. a waste of electricity, right? But if you're at 30, 40, right. then yeah, I would put it into charge overnight. Okay. And as soon mm -hmm. as I wake up, I would make sure I unplug that device or unplug right. my iPad and use it throughout mm -hmm. the day. And then I decide whether I need to charge it, right? So right. Um, right. if I have a long day, and, you know, when I'm on my iPad, yeah, I'm going to want to make sure that it's charged, especially if I'm not home, if I have to travel, I need to make sure my devices are charged for the next day, okay? So about mm -hmm. 10 hours. So it's pretty good. But Alice, um, if you play if you play a lot of the games, they don't last that long. Because I, I stay yeah, on in, 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 it depends on the games too. So in general, just make sure you are looking at your battery percentage and you make that decision at the end of the day. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. the next question is uh, again button successful features. What is the front camera of your iPad prim primarily designed for? So again, model selfies. two. Selfies. Photos. Selfies. FaceTime. Selfies and photos. Selfies. selfies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's see what the answer is. FaceTime, selfies, selfies. selfies. Zoom. It's, 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 yeah. 
for her. To again, ma let's make sure our TVs and our cell phones are turned off. Thank you so much. Um, again, yes, FaceTime, selfies, and Zoom. I can um, be on Zoom with you all. You can see my face. I can see all of your faces. You know, we are able to see you. Um, you can use the camera on your iPad, literally take a selfie and use it for oh. FaceTime. So you can literally mm -hmm. FaceTime with others and video chat with them as well. So that's the main purpose of the front camera um, on your iPad for um, like iPhones um, that have the capability. That's how we do face mm -hmm. ID. So with my iPhone, I can use my face to unlock my phone. So that's uh, you know another reason, another way um, you can use the front camera on an Apple device, okay? So good job. Uh, let's go to another category, uh, iPad settings and applications. Um, is Apple Music free? No, 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 no. Charge, Apple charge. No, no, good job. So it's about um, nine ninety nine a month, ten ninety nine a month. Um, if you're a student at a university, uh, when I was, I had a um, you get I did it for five dollars a month, but normally it's about a nine to ten dollars um a month. So that's why every time you mention this, we recommend free goal music. <laughs> That's downloaded onto your senior? iPads. Um, you no, no, unfortunately, no. So um, I would recommend, um, you know, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Um, if yeah. you want to search for songs, um, you know, there are certain like different uh, radio apps where there are ads, but Apple Music in uh, specific, no, unfortunately, it's it's not free. But it is pretty useful because when you're able to listen to music and also, you know, do other things at the same time as well with YouTube, you can do that somewhat because when you're in YouTube and get out of YouTube while a video is playing, sometimes the video still plays in the corner. So it just depends if it's like an officially licensed video, you may not be able to use that picture in picture feature, but uh, I recommend any free um, music apps that you find, okay? Alex, um, this is this is Ann McConk, excuse me. I think it went up to 11 because I saw that charge in my yeah. account. Yeah, ten ninety nine. I uh, you did. It, it also includes tax too. So I uh, yeah, okay. I think it is ten ninety nine plus tax. So I pay. I pay that too. So I have Apple Music. So every month, about eleven dollars or so comes out. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's it's very it's very useful. So it's very um, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, next, let's see. Let's do Control Center, iPad, keyboard, Zoom two hundred. True, false. Is a Zoom account required to join a Zoom meeting? False. No. Yes. False. false. No. False. No. True. False. Yeah. I'm saying yep. yes. Yep. False. Yeah. False. No. You yeah. don't no. need an account to join a meeting. You need an account oh. to start your own oh. meetings. Yeah. So again, sometimes yeah. we do a session on how to create your Zoom account. Um, we sometimes go over during module six, but please, uh, um, it's very easy. If you're in the Zoom app, you can quickly use your I Apple ID to create an account. So that way you can start your own meetings and set profile pictures, et cetera. So, yep. Yeah. Um, let's go back to buttons and accessibility features. How do you access the multitasking screen on your iPad? What do you think the answer is? Go to, go to the multitasking screen. Go to the home button. The home button. The home button. The home button. Mm -hmm. The three, the three, three dots, dots, three dots, middle of the screen up top. Mm, so I'm getting two answers, the home button and the three dots. Let's see which one it is. So whoever said the home button, they were right halfway, but you got to double tap the home button. Oh, when you yeah. double tap the home button, that's how you get to the multitasking mm -hmm. screen because there are all of your different applications that you've been in on the screen where then you can close okay. it out. The three, the oh, three okay. dots at the top of the screen. Oh, that's how you change. That's how you, yep. Yeah, that's how you change your view. So you can do a split view where you can have two apps open at the same time. You can have the full screen view. Um, so those, so that's the difference. So again, the multitasking mm -hmm. screen. If you want to view all of your different um apps that you have open, you double tap the home button on your iPad. Okay. Right. So yeah, um, well, let's go to all about email for 400. What are the two main two items you can attach to an email? So uh, what are the main two attachments? What do you guys think? Um, the name, the photo, the, 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 the name and the address. A picture, emoji, 
a document. Right. Mm. Document and photo. Mm. So I'm hearing I'm I'm hearing um some good ans uh, some good answers document. and some um so also technically <laughs> co correct answers, but the main part of this question is attach. What what are the two main items you can attach? to an email and, and the address. answer is, is files and documents <laughs> and photos and videos yeah. you're not attaching a name you are entering mm -hmm. the name this is what you can attach okay. so attach. again you can attach oh, documents okay. or basically mm -hmm. photos or videos so any media or uh, or documents you can attach like a pdf or again a photo or a video things of that nature so when you get to the email when you're the email creation screen Again, you can either choose a documents from your files app or a photo or a video from your photos app, okay? But any okay. emoji you want? But you, you don't attach. It's, that's a character you can enter in mm. the body yes. or the okay. subject. Gotcha. But, yeah. uh, literally yeah. attaching, yeah. But no, that's, okay. a, that's, a, that's a good distinction. So okay. you can enter in as many texts <laughs> and subjects and emails, but this is what you can attach to an email. So mm -hmm. it's good that it's good that we're doing this. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, next up is Control Center, iPad, Keyboard, and Zoom for 300. Um, how do you input an accented letter or character while typing? Mm -hmm. So what do you all think the answer is? Shift. <laughs> Hold the button. Yeah. Hit, the, hit the shift key, oh. then the character key. Uh -huh. Letter right. key. Mm. Oh, what else do you think? Hold the key down. Hold the key down. A bold and bold. All right. Mm. Let's see. Let's see what it is. I heard it. I heard it somewhere. You touch and hold the character and select the variant mm. you would like. So yes, if you want. So um. It's an accented letter or character. So the shift key is used to capitalize letters um, in different uh, character, um, characters on the screen. So uh, switching, but not actually putting an accented letter. So if you're typing on your iPad, you can touch, for example, the E key. Mm -hmm. Once you uh, hold it for a second, some options should appear at the top of this uh, at the top of that character and you can slide and get the one that you want so if you want an e with an accent um you would hold and drag to get that accented letter okay but whenever you're on the keyboard you hold the character and you can see the different options for like accents and different um oh, spellings yeah. of that character okay you guys okay all right um, so we have three more questions. So let's go back to buttons and accessibility features for 500. These are, these are some tough ones, okay? So let's see if we can get it. <laughs> if the home button is damaged and no longer working on your device, you turn this option on to enable a virtual one. At the screen. Voiceover. You turn this option on to enable a virtual one home button basically what is this option called it's gone over in module two so it's quite it's, it's quite difficult so again you uh damaged um, the home button mm -hmm. if you damaged it it's no longer working what is the option to turn to enable a virtual one power button Mm, it's, a, it's a tough one. And the <laughs> answer the is over? you can't use it. Control. <laughs> so, the, the main part of this question <laughs> it's the option. So, we got to think of the name of the option to turn on a That's, virtual one. Is it the, so, accessibility the, accessibility over. the accessibility feature? Yep, this is an accessibility feature. So, and um, it's the, the assistant. Uh, is it the cellular yes, device? Yes, yes. Whoever says touch. Good job. It is assistive touch. All right. Good All right. job. So yes, yes. Whoever just said that, I, I didn't see who it was, but good job. It, it was, was assistive. Yes, it was Renee. Renee. I, I know that. Oh, I know that's right, ma'am. <laughs> you got it. It, it is right. assistive it touch. Was so, mm -hmm. It was in my notes. It was in my <laughs> Good, <notes. laughs> yes, because we, we, we do that. go over this during module two. So yes, oh, it's in the accessibility feature. If, if, 
if uh if you if your home button is damaged for whatever reason and you would like a virtual home button you turn on assistive touch and the accessibility feature so you would go into settings and you would go there mm -hmm. and you could search for assistive touch and it appears uh, right there so yeah that, that was a tough one so good job miss renee for taking notes i really appreciate it so good job <laughs> i said say your notes too you didn't get my name <laughs> <laughs> the next question uh to two more wow. you all is all about email so what was and this was a while ago. What was September 1st highlight of the week in our daily reminder? Mm. So what was the highlight of the week for the, movie. the first week of September? I think it was the movie. The contest. <laughs> was it the movie? We saw a movie. This is a very specific question. Again, what was the first highlight of the week in September in our daily reminder? Oh, wow. signing, signing up for the trivia contest. Self care month. <laughs> mm. 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 And the that's answer, okay. and the answer is, again, that's that's why we going over this. It was National Honey Month. So. Oh, wow. because of that um yeah, sure everyone was. you got you got to make sure that you know you read through the email at least once a week but there are always changes that could put be put into place every day we send it out monday through friday on mm -hmm. monday you can see the agenda for the whole week and at yeah, the very fun. bottom of the email it says whatever month it is highlight of the week and September is National Honey Month. So yeah. that's, uh, you know, it's, okay. uh, I didn't expect you guys to remember, but if you did, it would, you know, great. But just let's just make sure it's as a reminder that that daily email has so mm -hmm. much information on it. Okay. It has in the day of the week, all of our sessions, um, any flyers like our Nutrition Bowl trivia flyer. Um, we have the library flyer one point. We had um, other resources available and this highlight of the week. So it's uh, really important that you guys check out the daily email, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Yeah, then the last question for today before we end for today is iPad settings and applications. How do you open a quick note on your iPad? Again, module four, this uh, towards oh, the end. Four. <laughs> module four, so you how do you open a quick note on you your iPad? Siri. Can you ask Siri? Uh, you just oh, hit the icon for notes. Hmm. Let, right me say the question, let me just say the question again. How do you open a quick note on quick, your iPad? Quick note. Quick note. Hit that. Hmm. Note. Go to notes. Go to notes. Know that. <laughs> it's a it's a trick question, you all. It's pretty hard for five hundred, uh, right? You don't open it. <laughs> Is that the one you don't open? How do you open? You swipe first? from the top to the bottom, and those things come up or diagonally. Yeah, my battery going down. Mm, no, that was that was that was that was that was really close. You uh, don't Ms. open, a, you so don't the, open it, a quick note. <laughs> the answer is you swipe up <laughs> from the bottom right corner of your iPad. If you swipe up from the bottom right hand side of your iPad, oh, you oh, it opens a quick note. So you gotta you gotta drag it from the bottom right. And um, it's really swipe diagonally for real. Um, I think that's a lot easier, but you basically swipe from the bottom right corner of your iPad and that's how you open a quick notes no. because it, you can open the notes app just by going to the notes app. So you guys said that, but that's not a quick note because this, you don't even have to tap on an app. You can just quickly open a note. And then if you go into the notes app, then you can access them. But if you just want to open, like if you're on Zoom now and you just want to quickly write something down or note something down, you can swipe and open a quick note. So you have the Zoom open and the notes, uh, a quick note open so you can take notes down, okay? So again, you swipe diagonally from the bottom right corner of your iPad and that's how you open a quick note. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So 
so again, we, we've gone over every, you know, uh, the main parts of all of our different modules today and also last Friday. Um, I hope you guys learned something new. Just, uh, I would love to hear just for a few minutes or so, um, what maybe something you, you learned today. Um, learned about quick notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent session. Quick notes. Yeah, quick notes. Nail mail. mail. Oh, Your new yes, email. Nail iPad. Mail. iPad. Mm -hmm. Assisted touching. Yeah, mm -hmm. assistive touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All, what I can say to that. All of that, that the modules we had. Yes. Yeah, we all of them. <laughs> once you know, once you know these basics, you know, it's all about the nitty gritty and such. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, okay. it doesn't the Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. I I've had a lot of trial and error myself with figuring out these things, you know, with the for, you know, first my iPhone and the iPad, you know. So it's uh, it's just good to know these basics so that way you can focus on doing the things that you uh, would like to accomplish with your device, yeah. you know? <laughs> so any anything that can make uh, this, your iPad or life easier, you know, hey, I'll take it, right? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So uh, I, I like to thank everyone for getting on today. I hope you all learned something new or reinforced something. These are all of our different modules uh, information. So if you'd like to know more in depth about something, just uh, make sure you check out our daily email with uh, the modules of the week and the different um, advanced sessions and lunch clubs and um, our movies and our events, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys check out that email so that way you know what's going on but i'm really looking forward to all the things next week so make sure you guys check out your email on monday okay okay, okay. all right thank you alex have a nice okay. week. no problem i hope i hope i hope that was, um, I hope that was fun I, I i was so thank glad to, see, to hear from a lot of you thank you this was my first okay have thank you my first time. Alex, go. Alex, I just have a quick question. Renee Renfield raising. Sure, yeah. I have time for I a minute. About the gift card. I was trying to ask a question about the gift card. I didn't even know I was supposed to get it. But I got the email and I responded. That's all I'm oh, supposed to do. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah, Miss Gwilda, you got it. Thank you so much. That's it. I do, I do mm -hmm. have to do anything else. No, ma'am. We'll, we'll let you know. Uh, thank you. All this right. Was, um, this was this was Renee. Yes. Hey, Winfield. Hi, Alex. Yes. And Miss Eddie, Alex. I I've seen you on a couple of sessions, but this may have been your first Tech Friday, so I hope you come back for more. Yeah, um, this was my first yeah. time. I don't see very well, nor can I write very well. So I thank you all for working Ooh. with me. Oh, I'm glad no problem, Miss Eddie. Glad you're here. Come back. Keep coming huh? back to us. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Yes. Welcome yes. aboard. Um, Miss Renee, uh, do you had a question? Yeah, let me ask a quick question. Um, today is my sixth day for attending a class, and am I supposed to wait for the survey, or how does that work? Um, just ch keep checking out your email, okay? And okay. Uh, you'll you'll see it. So uh, no no rush, but uh, um, okay. I'll, I'll I'll take a look at that for you, okay? But I can still attend the other classes as well. Oh, right? ev everything. <laughs> no, all of you. I need, I, yes, please. I don't know what others are saying, but please, that email, if you want to attend any of the sessions, please uh -huh. do. I mean, everything's okay. free. Everything is interactive. You know, we have different yeah. guests, different topics yeah. and such. So please take advantage of whatever you would like. Um, okay. We'd love to see everyone's smiling face. And, you know, you never know what you're going to learn. You know, even okay. myself, you never know what you're going to learn. So okay. if you can take advantage of different things, then, you know, I would say take advantage of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much for all your help, too. Oh, no problem, Miss Renee. You have a great day yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> um, good any... weekend, everyone. Yes, have a good weekend. weekend. You all feel free to leave. All right. yeah, everybody Thank, have you. A great Thank you. Thank so you so much for participating today. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Alex, have a nice have good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pie. I need to order my. Sorry, I was pie. busy. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Hey, Alex. Hi.
Sure, okay. Sound, like, yes, I think I've seen your question. Back GPS is the global positioning system. <laughs> yes, I learned that today. <laughs> yes. The, oh, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much. You too. Have a wonderful weekend. weekend. Wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. We'll see you too. Monday. Bye. 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 Oh, let me get some, Teresa. I want some so bad. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda, I'm ordering my sweet potato pie. Have it ready for me, please. <laughs> I'm serious. I love oh, oh, I, I think it's Brenda fine. got off the call, uh, Teresa. She's gone. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. But no, oh. I when I want anything that she cooks on Wednesday. It's so good. It, it <laughs> oh, sounds yeah. so good. <laughs> That's, <the day. laughs> That's what right. Alice was home making five pounds of potato salad for my birthday, my brother's birthday party tonight. Oh, so, uh, I, need, I I need some. I love me some potato salad, Miss <laughs> uh, Miss Charlotte. I I love it. I love that and some coleslaw. I can yeah, I can eat it up. <laughs> I I make it like my mother used to make it, and everybody loved it. <laughs> oh, I, I hope you enjoy and, and I hope you have fun this weekend, Miss Shirley. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Everybody mm -hmm. be safe. Happy yes, birthday please. to your brother. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you all for getting on today. So it was okay. so fun this week. And, uh, you know, it Teresa it was on vacation. So, you know, I had to hold down the fort, but. It was it was so you fun. Done, did did you done you did, did a good job. You did a great job. job. Yes, yeah, you did. You did it intentionally. Great job, Alex. Great job. Great job. Okay. Uh, no, no fun. <laughs> Let's all have a wonderful, peaceful weekend for reflection and learning, of course. And we'll see all of you on Monday morning for our talk show and our session and our lunch club and our module. So nice and okay. I'm really looking you forward to it. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, you all you, as well. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good day. Everyone have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs> Bye.